Hello, God bless you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're doing well. I'm in the sanctuary today. I come to invite you to worship with us tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. What an awesome start uh, 2021 has gotten off to be. There are multiple things going on. There are changes taking place in society. The devil is doing what he does. But I'll tell you something. The God of the Bible has not gone off and uh, uh, he's not on vacation. He's doing great things. And I am glad this is the year of the worshiping servants. That is the theme that the Lord has given me for 2021. Uh, Matthew 4 and verse 10, thou shall worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. And the point of the theme is, even as we fight the good fight of faith, engage the culture, fight for life, fight for the definition of marriage, Fight for, praise the Lord, the fact that God made them male and female. Fight for biblical and doctrinal purity. Fight for the things of God. As we fight, you know, when you're fighting, you're putting out energy, you're you're using fuel, or it is taxing. But here's how we get revived. We turn to the Lord. We worship him. Oh, my. We, we seek his face. We call upon him. We keep our personal relationship with him strong. When your personal relationship with the God of the Bible is what it should be, I tell you what, it keeps you excited about the things of God. No man having a personal relationship with the Lord that is the way it should be is unexcited about the things of God. You can't have a relationship with God and it's the way that it should be and you are bored or you are lethargic or you're not interested in the things of God. You're not interested in church. You're not interested in worship. Oh, your mind has drifted somewhere else. The things of God no longer attract you. The world is looking more and more attractive. Your joy is gone. Your peace is gone. You just can't make it. Listen, listen, listen. It could be, I offer an, a, a solution. It could be that you need to turn your face to the wall. It could be that you need to lie prostrate before the Lord and spend time before him. It could be that you need to turn that television off, get offline and go in your secret closet and pray and don't come out until the Lord make things better. It could be that you need to be a part of a church where you're able to attend church, to get into the service of the Lord. God is watching out for us. I said this past Sunday, and I'll say again, my friends, the coronavirus is in the world. We live in the world. Saints live in the world. And as sure as the virus is in the world, people who attend church, um, uh, they will contract the virus too. Because guess what? We all live in the world. It doesn't necessarily mean you got it at church. We live in the world. But what we've done here at the upper room and it has served us well. We even talked to some some health people from another county that called just today. And when they heard about our protocols, they said, quote, we're blown away by your protocols. We wish other churches were doing the same. Let me tell you, let me tell you, God has blessed us. He's causing his face to shine upon us. And I'm excited about studying the word of the Lord together tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We believe Here's one of the things that distinguishes us, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the close with this. We believe here at the Upper Room that worship is worth the risk. So we're going to be smart. We're going to be safe. We're going to be respectful. We're going to be mindful of each other. We're going to make sure that we stay away if we feel that we're sick. We're going to come if we feel that we can't. We are going to continue to social distance and do all of the things that we're supposed to do so that we can live. But I tell you what else we're going to do. We're going to serve the Lord and we are going to worship. Check this out. The Lord together, we're going to study the word together. (laughs) 
tonight here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Make it a fantastic day. I'll see you tonight for Bible study. Yep, no concerts, nothing fancy, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing over the top, just plain old Bible study. <laughs> God bless you.